Most of us who have been to art museums have probably heard someone tell us, don't touch the art. Don't touch. Don't touch it. Just don't. You might ask, why not? There are, of course, exceptions to the no touching rule. And this video by The Art Assignment does a very good job of distinguishing the difference between what you can and cannot touch. But for the most part, touching is a big no-no. So why shouldn't we touch? Well, there are many reasons, depending on the artwork and depending on its condition. But primarily, it's to protect the artwork from damage and deterioration. A medium like paint, for instance, is very fragile. And touching it can lead to the artwork being dented, scuffed, scratched, deformed, or chipped. I have personally witnessed a gallery visitor scraping her hand across an oil painting because she wanted to know what the texture felt like. I wept. People like to think, how damaging can my hands really be? Well, the thing is, it's not just your hands. It's what's on your hands. Your hands are essentially carriers of kind of gross residues, like oils, perspiration, skin cells, dirt, and who knows what residues, depending on what you've touched recently. Believe it or not, conservators have cleaned out things like green handprints from a little child to bubble gum to even blood out of sculptures and paintings. That's gross. So I've heard some people say, okay, I understand why I shouldn't touch paintings and really old fragile art, but you know, hard metal and rock sculptures, those should be okay, right? No. Even if your hands are completely clean or recently washed, you still have a natural oily residue on your hands. Therefore, no matter how delicate you touch an object, you will always leave fingerprints. And here's the thing, the acids and the oils that come off of your hand onto the artwork can cause chemical change, such as corrosion, etching into metal, discoloration, and staining. And if you can think back to what you learned in science class, chemical changes are irreversible. The heat that comes off of your hands can also damage the gilding of some frames, so no touching the frames of paintings either. Touching can also be cumulative. One touch by one hand from one person may not directly result in the destruction of an entire artwork, but think about all the hundreds and thousands of people that come through art museums on a daily basis. If everyone touched the art, then in a few short years, there would be nothing left for anyone to see. Being very close to an artwork, such as putting your face directly in front of an artwork, like less than an inch, and breathing on it, that can be problematic as well. Even though you're not directly touching the artwork, the oils and residues from your skin can travel to the artwork at such close distances. In addition, if you're breathing on an artwork, then you're going to be introducing more organic molecules as well as moisture to this artwork, which is very bad. So that's why most galleries ask you to stay an arm's length from the artwork. Galleries and museums often try to take as many precautions as possible to prevent artworks from being damaged, such as putting them behind glass or on pedestals. But doing so for every single piece of artwork in a gallery can not only be costly, but it may even cause the general public to not able to directly view or fully experience the artwork. The good news is, some galleries now offer multi-sensory tours, where touching is allowed when you put on special conservationist gloves provided by the institution. We will talk about the topic of multi-sensory tours another time, but for now, just remember the rule of thumb is don't touch unless you are told otherwise by the institution. Touching is very hard to resist. Believe me, I know. It's human instinct to want to be tactile and want to feel and want to know what things are like when touched. Um, uh, that could be taken in the wrong way. But anyway, we all play a part in ensuring that these great works of our cultural heritage are preserved for many years to come.